recently, a well-known magician passed away, considered by many to be the greatest coin magician who ever lived. I purchased this box at his estate sale, and inside was his hand. No, I'm not talking about his real hand. I'm talking about his other hand. This is a genuine rubber hand, measuring about a half a foot. These things cost an arm and a leg, but they do come in handy for sleight of hand. Inside the box was also a small coin purse, and I realized that this is what the magician used to perform his most famous trick. That was the trick where he would take a coin out of the purse, placing it into his hand, and with just a little wave, he caused that coin to vanish. And of course, it was never in his left hand, and certainly not in the right, because it was always in the other hand. Now I practiced this trick until it got to the point where I could place the coin in my hand. And like that magician, with just a little wave, caused that coin to vanish. And of course, it was never in the left hand and it was never in the right. Because I also had it in the other hand. Now on the other hand, I don't really need the other hand to do my tricks. For example, I could place the coin over there and it jumps over to here. Or I place the coin over here and it jumps back to there. Or I place the coin over there and you think it's over here, but it's really over there. But hey, without a doubt, the most amazing trick is when I place the coin in the hand and with just a little wave cause that coin to vanish. And of course, it's never in the left hand or the right because it's always in the other hand. Not this time. You see, sometimes that coin goes back. Hey, it's a magic trick. you got to expect things like this. Now this is the exact coin that the magician would use. It's a half dollar, a 50 cent piece, a silver coin. And sometimes he would place that coin into his hand, but instead of a wave, he would squeeze, causing it to change into a copper, British penny with a queen on the front. Some people, though, don't believe that I could change this coin from silver to copper. They think I must have another coin. Well, of course, I don't keep one in the left hand, and certainly not one in the right, but I always have one in the other hand. And now that I have two different coins, one copper and one silver, we can play my favorite game. Copper and silver both go into my left hand. One comes out, that's the copper coin that you hold in my right hand, and the silver coin is, of course, left. Watch. Did you see anything happen? Well, I know you saw me bang my hands against the table, but I also did something else. You see, I switched those coins. The silver is now over here, while the copper has jumped to here. Let me tell you how I did that. When I banged my hands against the table, a loud noise caused you to blink. And when you blink, since the hand is faster than the eye, I switched those coins. It's based on principles of science, physics, acoustics. I will do this again for you, and you'll see that at the moment. When I bang my hands against the table, you're going to have to blink, and when you do, I'm going to switch those coins. So like before, copper and silver both go in the hand. One comes out, that's the copper coin, leaving the silver over here. Watch. Did you blink? This time, I wasn't sure if you would or you wouldn't, so instead of switching them, I made them vanish. And of course, they're never in the left hand, and certainly not in the right. But sometimes, the copper coin does go back to the purse. And the silver coin, well, as you can imagine, the silver coin is always in the other hand. But maybe you don't want to see all that. Maybe you just want to see the trick where I place the coins in the hand and with just a little wave cause those coins to vanish. And of course, by now you know that they're never going to be in the left hand and they're never going to be in the right. And you might even expect that sometimes those coins go back to the purse. But remember, in a magic trick, you've got to expect the unexpected. So why don't we just change it up a bit? You'll see that change comes from within. And the copper and silver coin, well, as you can imagine, there is one other place where they might be, and that's in the other hand. Thank you.